I want to talk about the current BDD support in Hyperledger. First, I want to talk about what is BBD, then why we use it, tools we use so far, what's new, and the results of those. The first thing we're going to discuss is uh, what is BDD. And I'm going to take you to the uh, BDD in Wikipedia. Basically, behavioral driven development mechanisms. We're going to look at some of the principles, and the most important for us are these four here, specifically, and also the ability here for the analysts and developers to collaborate together in a language that they can both understand. Architecturally, we use it to decouple the specification of the test from the implementation. We do this through Gherkin. And what this allows us to do was to uh, write our tests at a highest level in Gherkin, implement them, in this case, at least initially in Python. And now we are going to re-implement those tests using Golang. Next, we're going to discuss why we, pragmatically, why we use BDD. Uh, the first reason being to disseminate our proposed features before we build them. Uh, second, we to allow non-developers to capture user stories uh, so they can use the Gherkin language and just use standard English prose with the given when then syntax. We also use it to validate before checking in code from a developer perspective, as well as to debug code as we are developing it itself particularly uh, using the do not decompose feature with respect to our compositions in each scenario, allowing us to do uh, post-mortem type debugging and validation. Briefly, the tool we've currently been using, which of course is the Behave, which is Python based, I'll show you the Behave page. Specifically, that Behave supports again the Gherkin syntax, which is allowing us the capability to port this over to Golang with uh, in a very straight fairly straightforward manner and discuss what's uh, what's new. Specifically, we're going to talk about how we disabled uh, pre-v1 features using the Behave system. We're going to take a look and I'll show you the current feature files that now have had the pre-v1 tag added so that these are now disabled in the uh, Behave RC file. Let's take a look inside our features folder. You see the two features, but in our, this is the pure basic from pre-v1. This is our behave RC showing the pre-v1 tag now, so we do not run anything pre-v1 as of right now. This is the endorser feature. And, uh, features are now defined again in the feature subfolder. Currently we have the endorser feature, the order feature, only the endorser is done in both Python and Golang at the moment. Uh, the port was done to GoDog, which is a Golang behave system. This is the GoDog page can read about it at your leisure. Um, the good thing is that both support now and then both Python and the Behave versions have been augmented to support concurrent feature execution. Results of the current effort. Um, now you can implement uh, your BDD in either Python or Golang, of course. Um, I'm going to demonstrate the Python version first, running Behave-K. K says, please don't show me any skipped scenarios. We're going to run the endorser feature. Standard uh, Gherkin syntax, given we compose our system, we're composing the next ARC4 system. Uh, you see it running through, asking a simple endorser for endorser proposal. We're waiting for results back from all four endorsers, and we have success. Demonstrated by the, uh, the green color, you can see the time. It took 16.19 seconds, all pass, feature passed and scenario passed. Uh, now we're going to run the GoDog version. Uh, we're going to run the GoTogs. Specifying the dash dash tags of fab, not fab314. GoDog, the Golang version, of course, does not utilize .behaveRC, which is specific to behave, which allows us to say at an initialization config level which not to execute, in this case, preview1s and stuff. So you have to manually add at the moment the tags fab-314 because some of the features, excuse me, some of the scenario uh, scenarios have not been implemented yet in the GoDog version, but have been completed in Python version, but we will get those done as soon as possible. The other thing you'll note is that scenario outlines are not in, uh, sort of incremental. You get them at the end. You see the blue showing for skip, but in reactionality, the green at the examples level shows you that indeed the, this example run on this scenario outline did execute. Um, so that is that. This is the endorser feature. Again, the Gherkin syntax. What I'm going to show you is the endorser info. This is the Python version of the implementation of that Gherkin syntax. Fairly short, concise pretty readable. The Golang version is quite a bit more verbose. Um, again, my, though not technically uh, more difficult, pretty similar 
in uh, the amount of effort taken to write. Uh, I just find the Python a little bit more expedient, um, but your mileage may vary. And thank you very much for your time.